Yeah, I'll just edit that out. Oh, no. Because I keep everything because I'm like that. If the useless boat trip is kept. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna explore. Get out of this life biome and explore the world for what it is. And how I can see it. And not explore the endless ocean. You know what? It'd be cool if you can actually build like big boats and then like sail those big boats. Then like they would actually automatically sail to like some land and you could wander around the ship and play Minecraft on like the ship and do stuff. But that would be kind of interesting. Like I would totally like that. Like you know how Pokemon has the boats and you go to different places on the boats and you and while, until you get there you have to do stuff on the boat like battle trainers find junk do mission type thingies because they're not really missions because it's Pokemon you kind of just beat everything up and grab shit and that's pretty much Pokemon. See people see it. Some people see it as a kiddish thingy, and then I see it as you just go around beating sh the shit out of er every other Pokemon with your Pokemon, and then looting everything and stealing people's money because you beat them in a battle. That's how I see it, and it's quite entertaining. But it says so myself, except for I'm getting nifty on the new generation because I don't know what the fuck. Like, I remember, like, if you show me any 1 to 4 gen Pokemon, I can name them pretty much. I'm a little bit iffy on 4, but, um, can't even remember the region's names. Can uh, Kanto, there we go. And then there's Johto, and there's Hoenn. I can remember those three easily. Those three were easy to remember. I mean, Jota was a little bit harder. Like, I remember, um, Hoenn the best, Kanto the second best, Jota the third, Sinnoh the fourth, and Unova. Yes, I got it. Unova the fifth most. And I don't even remember all the Pokemon because I just lost my Pokemon Black or you know White game, and then I didn't give two shits. And so I've been playing other games. <sighs> you know, I'm just rambling on about random stuff that has nothing to do with the Minecraft. Like, what am I even talking about? I was talking about Pokemon, and I'm like, what the fuck? How do I get these, like, random topics? Why do I start talking about these random bullshit topics? And, I mean, you know, I'm not even going to bother trying to answer that question. It's not really answerable. Because, that's just what I do. I go out and talk around, ramble on around, around. I... 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 I can't speak correctly. God damn it. Uh, why can't I speak correctly? Like, you know, not too long ago, I used to be able to speak perfectly. Like, all my words were pronounced correctly the first time. I pronounced everything correctly, pretty much. And life was great. Until some shit, and then I can't speak at all. So, you know, life fucks you over like that, I guess. But, that's how life is. It just fucks you over. Like, in Minecraft, because the sun's going down. It's gonna get cold, because, you know, when the sun goes down, it gets cold. And now it gets warmer. I don't even know. I'm, I'm trying to make a reference, but it's dumb in this entirety, and I don't really care. Because making references to real life is nobody gives a shit, right? Oh, Chris Brown, stop Rihanna. Wait, why the fuck am I talking about this? This is... Oh, 
Oh man, I missed. Whatever. Let's pretend that hit me really hard in the face and knocked me clear out for a minute or two. So, it's been a minute or two. How's it you been? <laughs> I don't give a two shits. I'm just fucking random and I don't know. I always say I don't know because I don't know. Like, how big is fucking snow biome? Like, what the fuck? I, th this map can even be on large biomes. So, I mean, and I'm getting the hugest snow biome in fucking history. See, so watch this. It's ice plains, and then I can go over here, I think. No, wait. I can go over here, maybe. Tiger. And then I can go in the ice plane, the tiger, ice plane, the tiger. Just bounces back and forth like a volleyball. The volleyball's over. And over and over again. It's like Pong. You know the game? The arcade game Pong. That's the pretty neat game. It's so simple, though. Like. In gaming, we have created many new feats of gaming, from Pong to some 3D, po some popular 3D game that everybody loves, and yeah, I escaped the explosion. To some popular 3D game that has high-end graphics that everybody loves. Um, TF2 has some. Good graphics, I guess. You know, it's a bit cartoony. From from Pong to TF2, or Pong to Bioshock, or to uh, Bioshock 2, because that's the game I have, or Half Life 2, or um, other bullshit games that I have that I could just keep on naming, and then this commentary would be about naming games and not um. Not about Minecraft, not about surviving. <sighs> Holy shit, this is fucking crazy. I mean, hopefully my commentary is good because running around like this is kind of stupid. Because that's all I've been doing is running around either in the ocean, or so like boating around the ocean, or running around in snow. That's basically this entire fucking recording. And jumping over ravines. That's another feature. But what the fuck? Man, this is fucking weird. Like how much snow is there? Fucking fuck. And I'm like, this is as big as the ocean. Like I've been... I've explored the land for 10 minutes. So, one video was random bullshit to get to the ocean. 10 minutes were um, going in the ocean. Um, then 10 minutes was exploring. Well, actually, 12 minutes because it's 32. I started recording at 12 pretty much. So basically, I've been bullshitting around for 30 minutes in this game, exploring random bullshit. This is probably one of the worst recordings ever. I kind of want to start a new world because this world seems to be fucked up beyond belief. Except for I'm not going to, probably not going to do that because I want to see how long I can survive. And then with this random bullshit, it just doesn't happen. And I jump over it. Oh yeah, like a boss. Oh fuck. I fucked that up. Oh shit, boy. There we go. I escaped. Cause I'm an escape artist. The fabulosity of escape artist. You can't not stop me. I am the escape. Yeah, it's kind of sad that my uh, headset's not working. So you're probably hearing all this clickety clackety clickety clackety and bullshit like that. Oh yeah, 
And I got balls. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you! I killed your mother! Oh, so long ago! Yeah! Yeah, I'm gonna kill you! Like you killed your mother! Whoosh. Whoosh. Bitch! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. 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 Suck on that, bitch. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I just see what I wanted to see? Is this really true? <sighs> yes. Run through the skeletons really quick. Like, whoosh, whoosh, like a ninja. Whoosh. Arrows. Oh. See, I can't be ninja like in this game with those skeletons. They have too good of anchors. You know, <coughs> I liked it when they had horrible ass aiming, where the arrow just looped upwards. And you know, when, you know, back in the old days, like that, where it had the shit-tastic bow, I used to be like an uh, MLG sniper. Like, I was pro. Actually, no. Wait, which bow was I better at? Like, there was a point in time where I was just MLG at sniping. That finished that one. And there he is. And so... He grabs some sand. What the fuck? How do you grab some sand? How the fuck did you do that? I saw you grab sand out of brass. You bastard. You magical, magnificent bastard. You can't take this shit. Cause I'm fucking you all. Why isn't he ki like... He should have killed me by now. Cause I think they do four hearts of damage on hard. Oh shit, now I'm kinda scared. I'm gonna be fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. He dropped the sand. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Oh shit. Oh. And that's how you escape from an Enderman. Because the water will damage him. And since he can't attack water, he'll stop attacking you though. That's how you do it. Like a boss. Escape from near death from an enderman without killing it. Like a boss. That was like epic. I didn't kill him. He didn't kill me. And everything went good. Everything was good. Nothing. No one died. Everybody's still alive. We just had a little tussle. I think he started the tussle to begin with. He looked at me funny. And then he just randomly attacked me. He, he, he's the one that looked at me.